God dang. I'm throwing shade tonight. Not enough. All right, well, let's throw some more. <laughs> let's talk shit about <laughs> Sam. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Haunt, haunt your ass. <laughs> of Zero to Hero, I hope all you grid travelers have found the right podcast to listen to. Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Zero to Hero, where I'm Billy. And you're not my supervisor. Wait, well, I can say it better. Hold on. Anyways, on tonight's episode, we are... Ki- all right. You're not my supervisor! Oh, Jesus Christ. Had a long week at work so far? Well, anyways, if back. you haven't noticed, that's Jim, who's on the edge. As always, uh, we on tonight's episode we are counting Jim's chins. There's so, a reason why I have a beard. Buckle up. Uh, good luck. Yeah. Oh well. Breaking news. Also, that Jim has been discovered as Sasquatch. I thought they said that I couldn't keep using as a tax write-off. So I, I. That's what I told you today. I'm your legal advisor. That now you cannot. Oh, you're telling use it as me. A I don't believe anything you're saying. You're not my supervisor. That's right. Say it again. Say it, say it loud and say it proud. You're not my supervisor. There you go. So proud of you, buddy. Oh, okay. Ah. Remember, everyone, if you like to buy toys, then definitely check out Entertainment Earth and use our discount code Z, the number two, H pod. As your discount code, we check out for ten percent off. Michael, like you, I bought in so f- much stuff from them. <laughs> oh yeah, oh it's so it's it's actually pretty good. Like I legit, I legit bought the T Rex Megazord or the T Rex Zord, and they have all the balls in the tail. Do you actually do all kinds of custom like movements and everything? It's so high quality. Mm-hmm. And it weighs a lot. And uh, this is so nice. I actually want to buy the Dragon Zord from them. Just because the Super 7 right. stuff is really nice. I also bought Homer and Mo, but yeah, still. Uh, Super 7 is really, really nice. Nah, where's Homer? Uh, yeah, you he, have he, it out the box? I haven't unboxed him. He's still in his box. Oh my god. Yeah, so is Mo. They're both in their box. Uh, can I talk about how Hasbro got me today? Um, only or after we last hear a word from our sponsors. Okay, who's that? Uh, we currently don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are seeking sponsor. That's right. A hundred thousand dollars a year. Every ad placement's yours. Hell, Jimmy even said he'll sponsor some guy going through rehab for for stop drinking. I never said I was gonna do that. What? <laughs> 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 well, yeah. Let's uh, let's dive right All into right, this. Buddy, tell us how Hasbro screwed so, with you. So normally, you know me, I'm on top of my pre-orders and stuff. Uh-huh. Like, I don't let that stuff get behind uh-huh. me. But I made a pre-order a while back and didn't even think about it. And then I got an email saying, hey, your your items have shipped from our warehouse. And I was like, no, wait, what? Right. And sure enough, it was the SPD yellow and Lost Galaxy yellow from the Lightning so Collection. So you had the whole set? And I, yeah, well, I just had these two. Over this wave, right? And... Yeah, from this. Well, these are exclusives. Really exclusives. So the only thing I dislike about the like they look good, but the only thing I dislike is that they don't. So if you can see, I'm gonna show you right here. So you know, the the helmets are pretty much like face forward. Yeah. But if you look at these, the angled. They're all to the side. Yeah, okay. to, they're angled. I, so now I also want to please point this out that they're they're going back to plastic. Like or windowed boxes, yes. so I don't think this is even going to matter. Know. No, but I just don't like that because. But maybe I'm thinking it's because they're just GameStop exclusives. Well, they're supposed to be GameStop exclusives. That maybe they changed the heads on them, or they, or they just angled it off a little, or they just angled it off a little bit to mess with you. Like they're like, I'm gonna mess with. Billy, the guy who's like doing the box art, like this dude named Billy, he's been right in my ass this whole like last year. We're uh-huh. messing with him. We're doing it. We're going yeah. all in. It's gonna make we're gonna make it miserable. Just for me, Just I don't think you. I would matter. 
Oh, make bastards. sure you know they they want to make sure you know they know you are irritated. Oh, well, they're going to get it for me. So you better be all over Twitter. You know what? Go on Instagram. You know what? Post yeah. it on a Facebook group called Not Lightning Collection, but. Oh, yeah. All over I was that. thinking about Reddit. I was just going to get on Reddit oh. and just post it on Reddit. You get on Reddit? Oh, man. That's a t- Reddit, oh. a.k.a. the time suck. Yeah. I got a couple new Funko Pops, so I'll tell you hey, that. What do you get? Uh, from the Demon Slayer, uh, Gaomi. Oh, yeah? Which we have not seen him yet in the TV show, but, well, we've seen him a couple times. We haven't seen him do anything particular in the, t- the, but, the series, right? Yeah. There's nothing that's been built around him yet, but, yeah, I got him. I'm almost done. Almost done. I need to watch uh, yesterday's episode. I've been, I put it on, I finally watched last week's episode, like, Saturday, and that was really good, oh. yeah. Oh. Talking about Demon Slayer. Yeah, it's, Yes. Um, so don't, yesterday's episode, no spoilers, uh, no, no spoilers, none. All right, move on. De- so Demon Slayer, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is new show on Netflix. You have to watch. We, f- okay. we finished it last night and it was the dumbest ending I've ever seen in my life. And it was amazing. It's called okay. Agent Elvis. Oh, yes, yeah. I've seen the uh, the listings. Oh, my yeah. God, it's amazing and so dumb. Like, it's perfect. Like, the perfect show, I swear. <laughs> ah. So you know all the conspiracy theories behind Elvis, right? Like, there's a whole bunch of them behind Elvis. Yes. Uh, so they just rolled all of them, and it's amazing. And it's so... And it's animated, yeah, it's, right? It's, it's great. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. You're going to love it. Anyone who's into, like, action, conspiracy theory, like, kind of TV show, mm. it's perfect. Also, Matthew McKenna is in it, and they play a lot of Elvis songs. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, so if you if you even like Elvis songs, just watch it. I'll have to look, look that oh, up. the king. Hmm. Uh, now, here's the question. Yeah. I always see you with that pink Power Ranger helmet in the background. Yeah. Okay. How many times have you put it on and ran out the front door saying, I'm a Power Ranger? Um, once. But I didn't get to the front door because it doesn't actually cover up my chin. It, oh. goes to my upper, it goes to my bottom lip. That's as far as it gets. Okay. I have a really Rookie big uh, I have a really big head. It's itty bitty arms. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, we all got that T Rex syndrome. <laughs> but you know, uh, it fits Liz, but uh, it's not flattering. So <laughs> I really like that. And uh, yeah, so uh, I- I'm actually gonna probably take it to work here before too long. I want to put it on my desk at work, but I wait until I move to my uh-huh. official desk at work. So I'm at a uh, training desk you're... right now, which oh, is just around damn. the desk. Is I'm training, training tra- wheels. Trainer. What? You got a little itty bitty desk. No, and no, it's the regular desk wheels. and everything. It just it's next to the trainer. Did they did they give you little water wings too? Uh, no, but they give me uh, paid lunch breaks, which is fantastic. Oh, mm-hmm. and they're real lenient on like it's an hour, but it's like you get an hour twenty. It's okay, man. Uh, do they give you a special helmet? Uh, well, when we have to use the bathroom, we have to raise our hands. And ask oh. uh, and ask him to take us to the bathroom, Jim. I'm just starting to think you're in a classroom, and uh, and they, they take you over there and they hold your hand until they, you get to the bathroom and you have to scream at them. You're not you're not my supervisor until like yeah I am your supervisor and I'm like oh shit. What a twist of events. That's right. Nah, it, it's fun. Like I'm gonna probably take the work here before too long, but next month or so. The work put over there. You're gonna take all your toys. I've up been there. switching up Funkos uh, through the whole last like two weeks. Uh, Do you think they're aware of it? Yeah, yeah. Someone finally caught on them and switched them out. <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, I thought you had a She Hulk. I'm like, yeah, I, I totally have a She Hulk. Yeah. yeah. She Hulk's here at me. It's great. Uh, but, you know, I, right now, my Moon Knight's over there, uh, my Elvira, my uh, Darth Vader, and who's my last one over there? It's, uh, damn, I can't remember. Moon Knight, Vader, Elvira, and someone else. 
I cannot put my finger on Damn. it right now. Oh, uh, Black and Santon. Oh, yeah, he's a, that's he, right. He's over there. Right now. I remember, uh, I only have two Funkos at my job, and it's Super Saiyan Trunks and Rui. Oh, yeah? Which, I don't know why I bought Super Saiyan Trunks. It was just, I guess, to have it. Uh, I want to take the Tina Belcher one with me for Pride Month. But uh, uh-huh. I think one of my coworkers might have a tit fit about it. You, you, yeah. Uh, like one one tit or two tit? I don't know. He might just be mad about it. Go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Man. I don't want to get in. Like I don't want to push too many buttons yet. That's next. Uh-huh. Month. <laughs> right. Right. You're pushing a lot of buttons though lately. With who? You. Oh, no, not me. Well, I, I know you're mad because I haven't bought you any toys, but you owe me some Zach yes. Megazords. Jim, you, you get job, no toy for well, me. Well, I get a better paying job, and you said you're giving me Zach Megazords, so I'm waiting. Yeah, I don't know where the money went for that. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, no. Um, hey. What? Uh-uh. No. What? We ain't doing this. We're doing this. Doing it? What? Moving on. What? Uh huh. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh man, this is this is this starting to hurt your brain. Yeah, me no think well Monday. You know what? We're gonna take a real quick break. We'll be right back. And we're back. All right, what? We need to sat here in silence for like ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, this is getting weird. Yeah. Okay, continuing on this conversation we had. Yes. I did adult things today. Well, not today, but this weekend. Go on. I bought new socks. Oh, let, let's just get on this topic for a second, okay? Because when you're kids and you get socks for Christmas, you don't like oh, it, Oh, I right? hated it, man. And now, now that we're in our 30s, mm-hmm. we would love a pair of socks. Dude, I, like, I bought a whole like pack a, of socks, like brand new. A pack of socks. My size. I've never bought socks for my size. I've always bought, like, smaller ones. Uh, uh-huh. finally, finally broke it and finally got, like, the regular size socks for me. And uh, it's been the greatest experience of my life. <laughs> you, you know, you know, on the side of the 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 packaging it says you know it says like you know hey these are for size 6 through size 8 well you I know. always thought it was a size 13 but I wear size 15 shoes like I never knew I was wearing the wrong size shoe I always thought I was wearing like you know the right size shoe the just shoes are sat tight Jesus yeah no Christ, dude, yeah you, no I wear you size throw 15 a pair shoe. of shoes on you're gonna clap out the shoes real that's quick right well that's why because you're flat footed like, too I feel like the right size shoes and they'll last a lot longer than my normal shoes have so, how long does it take for your toes to slap the floor when you walk in barefoot? Oh. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ! But like, yeah. So I finally got uh, the right pair, like right size socks, and uh, it's amazing. Yeah, did you walk out of the store like, um, like Dale from uh, Step Brothers <laughs> when he walked out the store? <laughs> He's like, yeah. I-, I will say this. So I bought underwear too, and. Uh, uh-huh. I got I got this. I'm a big dude, so I got the husky. I was like, all right, I got the husky ones. We're doing good. I'm going to take a shower, and I, I pull one out. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to jump into these after the shower. And I pulled them up, and the freaking kids' underwears. And I'm like, stand there. I'm like, well, these aren't Europeans. <laughs> I bought these at Walmart. <laughs> these aren't going to fit. <laughs> Jim, just shut up. up there. I'm like, do you no. not like read labels? Dude, it said 2X Husky on the back and small print. It says children's. I was like, what? I <laughs> yeah, looked the whole thing into... over. I'm like, so what's the difference between Jim Husky and a kid Husky? Oh, um, about 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Seven dogs. <laughs> no, God damn. <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. I was, sort of like, I was like, oh my god. So I walked back. I took them back. I'm like, I'm going to return these. Like, uh, any particular reason why? I'm like, well, I thought they were European underwear, but they're not. And she's just. All right. Well, here's the real question, though. When you put on a new pair of underwear, what's the first thing you do? Because for me, it's snap the waistband. Of course. And then, and then you go into the seven, the seven moves 
of uh, articulation and like, damn, I got so much range in these yeah, things. You do the snap, uh, I do the snap, the leg, uh, the waistband, and then I do the uh, uh, what's it called? The uh, the kneel walk, like where you're going down to your knee and like coming back up. Uh-huh. I do that. Yeah, I got I got to oh, break it. Bro. I got to break in those legs, man. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's yeah, I gotta break in the the seams, right. the hems. You're not doing it, you're just not having fun with it. Oh, uh, oh man, let me tell you what. I found out I found uh seven inch end seam shorts. Jesus. Now dude, I'm just out there showing all kneecap like a like a little like a little scandalous Power Ranger. Are you okay? No. Okay, so the joke is, the joke will always be <laughs> that Billy always wears shorts and I always wear pants. That's the truth. If you ever see pictures yeah, of us. Yeah, you'll never see me wearing well, shorts. Except for, those, but you'll never... except for those one weird picture when we were in Temple together. I was wearing pants and I didn't know what to do with my hands. I was standing around in the store like this. Like, Jay, what do you want to do? <laughs> There's a whole video about it, too. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Billy will always, always be in pa- uh, shorts. I will always, always be in pants. Because I got some amazing legs. That's why. Yeah, sure. If we go with that, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're dead to me. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. <laughs> dead to me. I also picked up some new pants, too. Oh, man. Okay, go on. No, I'm a wow, good place these, right are now. Are these for husky kids, too? No, no, these were actual pants. <laughs> Actually created right pants for me. And, uh, uh-huh. yeah, no, dude. Um, are you st- are you still trying to find your waistline? I'll give it up on because, that. Because, I mean... A uh, long time ago. Because... Okay. Because apparently... You know, apparently some people be wearing pants. They don't know where the waistline is. Yeah, it's it's near your belly button, man. Well, some people got it above their belly yeah. button. It depends on it depends on it, de- it literally depends on your body type. Like some people, it's it's at your belly button. Some people, it's below it. Some people, it's above it. Uh huh. Yeah, yep. it, it's kind of where your hips sit at. Yeah, so, that's right. Uh, some people, it's in certain places. Some places, some places, it's not. Uh, my like mm-hmm. uh, like short people, you know, it's up to their chest. <laughs> You know, ask Jesus Ben. Christ. He knows exactly where his is. God dang. I'm throwing shade tonight. Not enough. All right, well, let's throw some more. <laughs> let's talk shit about <laughs> Sam. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Haunt, haunt your ass. <laughs> uh-huh. But, yeah, Can I, I just uh, say uh, that pants? this past... What? What? On what? I was going to say this weekend. This past weekend, you... You bullied me into going to a restaurant that I did. I haven't been to in forever. Well, you went to Torchies. Yes. How you feel? I feel ashamed. You feel ashamed? Yeah, it's the first time I've been to Torchies in a long I'm time. O- and I'm oddly, oddly weirded out that there was just nothing but it was the most white people I've seen in one area. Oh yeah, and the tacos are really good too. So you're like, why is there so many white people here? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, she was like. Our popular taco is called the tra- Trailer Park. And then I was like, go on. And she goes, how do you like it? Regular or trash? And I was like, hey, trash. <laughs> <You're> like, hey, <laughs> give it to me. Trash. <laughs> trash. Yeah. I was like, trash. Yeah, of course. What do you think I am? Uh, what do you think I am? Human? No. Trash us up. <laughs> trash it up. Trash me out. <laughs> and uh, she's like, you want some you want some guac? I was like, yeah, I'll take some guac. And she's like, I was like, I'll get the large. And then they brought it out to so I was like, well, I didn't need the large now. <laughs> yeah, the lot of guac they give you. Yeah, no, dude, their salsa is so yeah. good. And their their queso, I tried a little bit of it. It was really good. And, uh, yeah, I regretted that decision, but it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, well, you shouldn't have told me because now I regret the decision. Oh, no, man, I made sure you, uh, you, you're you going to regret your weekends. That's why, this is why I barely <laughs> talk to you on the weekends. Saturday comes around, I just stop talking. Thank- just block your yeah, number, don't God. listen to you. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That explains so much. Only time I unblock you is when we have a recording on Sundays. <laughs> okay. What? The only thing... <laughs> oh, I, I saw a thing today it, that reminded me... I forgot what it, what it said. It was like the things... Three things I hit the most is the gym, something, and then the block button. <laughs> <laughs> I can get behind that. The gym, the cafeteria, <laughs> the block button? Something like that. I can't remember how it went. So there was a, there was a, I, I used to say this thing. So I used to work a lot uh, and stay out all night and barely function in the daytime and work a lot. And I would, uh, I would say, I'm so tired. And like, how tired are you? And I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm going to start saying dirty words to my, <laughs> to my bed when I get home. Oh my God. <laughs> all right. Here's a question yeah. then. 
Is a duck's butt waterproof? I think it's watertight. I'd imagine so. It's, you know, there's there's a question. It's an old saying: "Is a duck's what butt watertight?" I'm pretty I'm pretty hmm. sure like it is. I don't know how that so cl- fart, that came just, up, but yeah. Is it just a regular fart, or do they like squeak one out? E- like like you, you see know, the ducks like, that go uh, to water, right? The butts up in the air. There yeah. you go. Oh. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're putting two to two together here. I got you, man. We'll get you figured out. Eventually. But, yeah. I wonder if it's like like putting air through a piece of rubber. You know, like, ee! The question is, is, like is it a crack? <laughs> that was bad. That was great. What are you talking about? That was, no, that was horrible. Yeah, you're terrible. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All I'm right. so proud of yourself. So, what do you think... What do you think is... What do you think? Uh, what do I think about what? Uh, I don't know. Me had no brain good moment there. What do I think about this new uh, new season of uh, Demon Slayer so far? Uh, sure. What do you think? Pretty good. You're wearing a Tondro shirt. It's been pretty good. I liked it. I like, I like well, how they jump the, into the action like, within that. like three episodes. It's going. Oh like every yeah, other, yeah, every yeah. other season has been like you gotta wait a minute, but once it gets going, it's going really good. But this one, they're just flying uh, through it. Uh oh. Um. Whoa. Hold up. You get to see their faces, the swordsmiths' faces. I, oh, I I've seen some like parts of their faces. Oh, this one. Uh, this yeah, episode, okay, last yeah. episode, you'll uh, you'll see them all. So my 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 work my, my coworker, he has his little girl with him, uh, he, uh, his little daughter with him. And they're starting to watch Demon Slayer. He's, she's like, I love Nezuko. And I looked at him like dead in the face. I'm like, Nezuko becomes a total badass. <laughs> oh, yeah. She, yeah she's yeah, a total she badass. Be careful, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he hates, uh, what's his name? He does not like uh, the electric kid. Um, Zenitsu. He has, he's like, I don't like Zenitsu. He's really crying like all like, all the time whining. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. don't worry. The second season, he's asleep for like 90% of the season. <laughs> Yeah, and he has the best. He only knows one. He only knows one technique, but he's perfected it. The the thunder clap and strike. Yep, that's the one thing he knows. But he's really flash good at it. Flash and clap, flash and clap. That's what it is. Yeah, one breathing technique. That's all he knows. He's he's really really good at it. So, what do you think about how this this new season is kind of like uh, focusing more on Ginya? Uh. I find it interesting. Wait, do you know who Guinea is? He, uh, well, I know uh, that he is like a rival. And then God, okay. like, he, he okay. watches his parents so, die and stuff, or his mom die. Okay. As far as I got yeah. so far. Do you, did you see the reference, uh, who Guinea is related to? Uh, the other Hashira? Ooh, you have been watching. Uh, yeah, I'm, so I'm just one behind. Oh. Jesus. That blew my mind. All right, guys. And, this okay. is what I have to deal with every day. Like, he's like this constantly. We get text messages back he'll, and forth. He'll text me. He'll text me something. He's like, hey, did you do this? It's like, oh, you blew my mind. Every day I deal with this guy. Okay. So now here's the question. Uh-huh. I might have an answer. Ginya, right? Ginya. Uh-huh. What 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 is that technique he's using? Is he... Is he Using blood demon? No, no, dude. Or? No, no. He says my time is running out, so it's probably a poison he drank. That's what okay. I'm thinking. Probably it, a poison. Oh, you know what? Okay, because he said he could regenerate Monada's head. Yeah, so he's not using blood demon art. I'm pretty sure Maybe it's some he, kind of potion, some kind of something that has, he made and or has been working with the, uh, the, medical, the medical division to figure it out. Right. Well, when he first got uh, stabbed, or first got uh, attacked, he was chanting something. He kept chanting something, so maybe he's channeling some sort of, like, spell. You're channeling your mom. But, yeah, uh, some kind of uh, spell. Probably so they keep him in check or some variation of that. Uh, yeah. I don't, I, I, don't think out, it's ma- I don't think he has magic. I think he's, you know. And he also has a gun, so that's kind of rare. Yeah, like, double barrel. Double, a little double barrel. A little sawed-off shotgun, which would be illegal now. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's interesting because he, he wants to be – they're like I feel like they're focusing this season around him – because he wants to become a Hashira that is the first ever Hashira without breathing techniques. Kind of fun. 
it's going to be kind of fun. But And I like his weapon style. He has a short sword. Yeah. But, it, but he breaks it. I don't like his fighting style. He has no technique at all. It's just none. Barbarian. Like even uh, even what's his yeah. face has some kind of technique. The uh, the Borsed kid. And yeah, Oskay even he has some kind of technique. Like it's not constant. Like just barraging people. No no oh. no. This guy it, it's all like take the hit brute force and you know brute force it and that's not gonna work. Like at this point now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, te- uh not Tetsuna. Uh, the main character, uh, Tondro. Tondro, is pretty close to becoming a, uh, a Hashira. Like he's right on the corner from it. Oh yeah, like, yeah. It, at this after this season, I'm pretty sure he'll be a Hashira or like right below it. Uh well, you're gonna you'll like the uh, yesterday's episode. It was you'll see uh, upper six. Yeah, right, don't tell me when we like. And then you'll it's a weird it's a weird way, but you'll like don't, it. Don't tell you me just when gotta pay like. attention. Um, you're gonna like oh it. Oh my god! Don't tell me. When... But yeah, so uh, <laughs> that that's my thought is uh, yeah he's right around from because if if he would have like they just lost a Hashira, so I'm pretty sure they just lost two Hashiras, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna become one soon. Which ones they lose? Rengoku and who? Rengoku and uh, the 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 wind guy. He retired. Oh yeah, yeah that's retired, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So All I'm right. pretty sure we're gonna see Tanjiro become a Hashira soon. Because that'd be kind of cool. Oh because, yeah, no like, doubt. He's actually like he's actually at the point now where he can like one shot lower level demons. Yeah, yeah, and you'll and uh, you see that he has a massive power increase yeah. too with um, with, the, the, with uh, Nezuko's blood yeah. infused on the blade. And that's not even his regular sword. That's just some rando sword. Yeah, it's just a. Oh no, it's it's no, his. It's not. Yeah, no, it's not. Cause he told no, him, it's like this go back and watch. sword. Like, it was his. No, it wasn't. It's not his yeah. sword. It was a rando sword that like the sword will work. Then why is it black? Because it it goes with whoever is holding it. <laughs> it's not his sword. <laughs> I'm like, watch. I'm, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna screenshot it. I'm gonna send okay. It to do it. I dare you to. They he. Gonna say it's the thorn. He said, "Here, just take it. I made you one extra. Well, I fixed this other one." Do you sound like that? Like, do you sound like that? Or do you sound <laughs> all Japanese? Oh, like that? Yeah, <laughs> Japanese. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all Japanese. Wait, that's race. Yeah. No, it's, it's it's anime. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm kind of let down though because I really wanted to see the the love and Miss Hashiras, but it, it will happen. Give it a time. Like, yeah, it'll, it'll happen. Give, give us some. Where we're not even halfway. Well, we're at the season. moment. We're at the moment where, uh, in the opening credits, when those like dragon looking things attack, mm-hmm. and the love Hashira shows up, we're we're right there. We're right there at that point. Yeah. Now, until next week. Don't, she's gonna do doing stuff. Give it a minute. Oh, oh, I know. I, I already know. know. I just wish like I would have seen that. Man, really. like she's gonna do with things. I'm not freaking out. I'm not freaking out about it, man. I think I freaking out about it, man. I feel like this show went from talking about Power Rangers to talking about anime, and I'm kind of here for it. Yeah, I'm gonna here for it. I, I'm I'm here to like talk Man. about other things. Like I'm more than happy to. I just know like you know we're we're mostly a Power Rangers focused series, but uh, uh-huh. this is this is a nice uh, breathing room. This yeah. is, you know, Power Rangers Did you see? Downtown. Did you see somebody recreated the Akira bike? But is it fully functioning? Yes, and it nice. runs. I've, a couple people have recreated it, but uh, how the wheelbase is set up, like they almost always they make them super oh. short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all, because it's just how the wheel is set up. But if someone actually has yeah, this is works, how holy crap, awesome. Yeah, this is how it looks identical, but it's it's a shorter wheelbase. Yeah, that's how it always is the wheelbase. You can't you can't do it. It's just it's almost impossible yeah. to do. Um, yeah, it's like those people that drive with extended forks on the front. Yeah. You just can't make turns. Yeah. So uh, I don't know I, I don't know what if anyone can actually ever make a full Akira bike like full one. Maybe like maybe with those um they use those dual motor uh, uh dual motor wheels. Yeah, where the wheels like are on sink and those. stuff. Yep. That could work, but then that's expensive. Well, that's yeah. true. I'm saying. 
Yeah, yeah, just saying. But I'm really happy with that. That's really cool. Like, one step closer, man. One step closer. They just need some dude to go crazy and then become a monster, I guess. Well, you got to have someone with psychic powers. Get injected uh-huh. with a bunch of things, then go crazy, then become a giant monster. Right. I got you. I know what we're about. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So you're going to do it? No. So I could ride a Kira bike? Just go ride the Kira bike. <laughs> Come on. You don't have to have some bad guy. <laughs> like, you can go do it. Have fun with it, man. Though, I think it's really funny that most people are like, it's an Akira bike. No, it's not Akira's bike. Akira's bike was broken. <laughs> yeah. The, the kid yeah, no, who went no, out crazy was, was the... Akira. Yeah. Yes. I, I can never remember the, the, main, like, the other character's name ever. I just reference it because that's the movie's yeah. name. <laughs> I remember the kid's name. Uh. But yeah, no. Uh, I, that movie is beautifully done. Okay, so you know every single background in that movie was hand-drawn? I believe it. Okay, yeah. so if you if you watch the movie, right? So there's these cityscape backgrounds, not like what's directly behind them, like the buildings. No, there's actual cityscape backgrounds that are all hand drawn in the background, and like someone someone went and released a lot of them, and they are gorgeous, mm. like wallpaper oh, yeah. class wallpapers for days, and it's every one of them were hand drawn, and they are amazing. And I'll just say right now, outside like Dragon Ball Z. That Akira was my first like ever anime that I w- we watched that was b- blood and gore too. Uh, yeah, because your it was friend was borrow it. <laughs> yeah, borrow it, and then uh, we watched that one, Dragon Ball Z, uh, and then I watched Evangelion, which was a terrible idea. Uh-huh. Yeah, terrible. That, that that it looks cool. Don't be wrong; it looks amazing, but uh, <laughs> it's dark. Uh, <laughs> it's really dark. Very dark. Uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, no, we we got the anime because of that, and Dragon Ball Z, and then we had those random Dragon Ball GT moments. We're like Dragon Ball GT, yeah, and we never really could watch it. Like we watched uh, Z a lot. Never did. We never could watch GT. Mm-hmm. That's right. Good times. Remember Cubics? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cubic. Jesus Christ. That name just, like, triggered a whole thing just right there. Straight back to, like, 1999. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Fox Kids. Oh, no, that's, that was, uh, that was No, that was, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, the WB Brothers. Kids. The WB Kids. Fox Kids, that's a lot right. of live action, though. Though they, Fox Kids had, uh, uh, MIB, the MIB animated series. Yes. Yeah. Which is really good. Yeah. And then, uh, it also, they also did, uh. Uh, Batman Beyond, I want to say. No. That was WB. No. Though I did see, uh, Batman Beyond Funko Pop they're releasing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's going to be chrome black. I kind of need this. If you see it, let me know. All right. Uh, I, I'll, I'll I keep love an eye Batman out for Beyond. it. Batman Beyond was such a good series. Oh. It was. It was a great series. I uh, yeah, I watched a little bit of it. I didn't watch it, all that. You watched a little bit all of it? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I how that all Uh huh, and we got over there and doing that thing over there and voila voila. Hey, speaking of anime, you ready for the uh the revival of um the Texas anime King of the Hill? Yes. Fifteen year time jump, so this means Bobby's out of school. He's probably out of college, too. I, I don't think he went to college. I think he's a college dropout. I think, yeah, I think he's going to be a stand-up comedian. Yeah, probably a stand-up comedian. Uh, well, Luann's no longer going to be there. Neither will be Lucky. Yeah, or Lucky, yeah. It sucks. Like, it's going to be weird. They'll write him off somehow. Yeah, but it's not going to be the same. Like, Luann, the lady did Luann's voice just nailed that voice. Nailed it. Nailed it. But uh, Cotton's dead, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he did die. Yeah. Last season, yeah. I want to see. I want to see what happens to Khan. To be fair with you, Khan was such. A, yeah, because last time we, the last episode, he was on a manic depression. Yeah, kind of thing. yeah uh, his last episode, he was having a manic manic attacks. Yeah, and uh, it was just. Uh, I want to see how he's doing. Like Khan was like the character yeah. you just worry about. Yeah, like you don't right. hate the guy. He's annoying, but you just he you worry about him. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Remember when he was off his medicine, he was just building yeah. everything? Well, that's man- <laughs> uh, manic depression. Like, well, ma- uh, ma- manic. Yeah, that's right. So, you get it right. 
You you, you do word impossible. Word the possible? What? I do the things. I set the things right. Yeah. Yes. Wait, wait. Did I do it? Did I do okay? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I know. Um, there's another show coming back. Uh, oh, freaking Clone High is getting another season, which is super weird. What's that? Uh, okay, so Clone High. Uh, it's a high school full of like history's greatest people. So like Abraham Lincoln is there, JFK is there, Cleopatra, Joan of Arc, <laughs> Gandhi. And they're all like super, super, uh, like over uh, uh, dramatized versions of themselves as high schoolers. Oh. So Gandhi is like peace and love, but he's always trying to get laid. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And uh, sounds like a horrible. Oh, show. it was really. There's only twelve episodes. It was really funny, but like they're getting a second season. I'm like, what? <laughs> like. Hold up, HBO, calm down. Like HBO Max has been putting out so much content right now, it's not even funny. Oh yeah, it's while Netflix is cutting content. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, HBO has deep pockets, so yeah. Heck, come on, like the Greenlit, the the Velma series got a second season. Oh God, no! Did you watch it? I only watched like the first episode. I finished. And I was it. like, yeah, and uh, uh, uh-uh, not me. I don't think it needed a second season. Like, there's a lot more that could happen, but. It didn't really need a second season. Like, some of the jokes are funny, yeah. but they made fun of everyone, which is pretty good, but... Yeah. Nah, mm. not for me. It didn't really... And I, I had to finish it. I was like, I had to finish this. I got to, but yeah. I'm halfway through. I, I guess... I guess just Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Gang just don't tickle that, that funny bone Well, anymore. like... <laughs> if, if it was anything else, was not an established franchise, was not an established franchise, it was anything else... It would have done really well. Yeah, if it wasn't labeled. If it wasn't labeled Scooby-Doo. for Scooby Doo, but yeah, whatever we got, we got. Oh, you damn right. You, you hussy. I switched the glasses out, so I have like two pairs. What's wrong with those? Well, these the they got scratched up really bad, and so I can barely see out of them anymore. So I had to switch glasses to my back. You know pair. when you're. When you're like stalking people, you're supposed to take them off while you're in the bushes, right? I can't see with that. <laughs> so like, okay, okay. So I finally went to this eye doctor, right? Okay. And I gave him my prescription from the last eye doctor I went to, which is the one mom went to. Okay. And I was like, here you go. Like, here's my prescription. And like, he did the test, and he like looked at me like, this isn't this isn't you. And I was like, it's the prescription I got. Like, yeah, no, this is what you have. He, like, told me exactly what my problem was with my vision. And, like, here's the glasses okay. that you're going to make you, like, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to correct your vision, and you're going to be good for, like, 10 years. You don't need to worry about getting new glasses. Like, you're good. Like, we'll just read you this, like, this prescription, and you'll be fine. I was like, all right, cool. So I was sitting there. I, I get my prescription. I was like, all right. I put them on, and I was like, I can see everything. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, God. I was like, all right. And then I start reading more books, and I'm, like, 10 books in. Uh, this year so far. So yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Jim, just because you read the back of a magazine does not mean it's a book. I thought it counted. They counted. It, it counted in the uh, reading. <laughs> the rith- uh, not rith- Damn it! It counted in the caterpillar reading group. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get at least a sweet monocle? Uh, no, I don't need one of those yet. That you can like pop in and be like, hmm. My Funko Pop is slightly skewed. I want to get a, uh, I want to get a monocle and just be offended by everything I hear, <gasps> and drop my monocle. Oh, oh, like, oh my! Okay, no, that that's actually pretty good. I would totally, you know what? I even go double monocle for that. Point to that point, just be wearing glasses. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna chill monocle. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why you got two monocles? Just wouldn't it be easier just to have them? Sun, uh, the glasses? No, because it makes it more dramatic. So, when I'm so shocked. There's a scene in <gasps> Futurama where Le- uh, Leela, the, the the Cyclops lady, gets a, uh, a second eye, right? So she looks uh-huh, normal, yeah. and so she's throwing out all her old glasses, and she's like, th- she's carrying a box that says Leela's monocles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. I'm like, all right, damn it, that's great. Oh, that that's another show coming back, Futurama. It yep. comes out in a few oh, weeks. Yeah, that's yeah. coming back. 
Yeah. It's going back out in just a few weeks. I kind of I kind of want to see it just to watch it. I don't care. I'm going to watch it. I enjoyed Futurama. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. I liked it. Unlike, uh, unlike, uh, I don't know, the sad excuse of la- <laughs> of, <laughs> of last weekend. What happened last I weekend? Oh, I, I finally watched sad? Ant-Man, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumanium. Oh, yeah, I like that. It was pretty good. I like how it was like a little bit more serious. Yeah, they, they cut back with jokes. What I'm mad, what I'm really mad about right now is actually the the actor who played Kang. He's amazing oh. as Kang. Like he's fantastic. He's really good. But uh, he, he allegedly he beat he beat his girlfriend. So yeah, yeah he he's under yeah. investigation now for that. And Marvel's talking about removing him from the uh, removing him from the series. Well, not Marvel, but someone's mentioned it. Uh, removing him from the series, which would really suck because he's a great actor, but. You can't be a good actor to be a shitty person. Right. Well, we've seen that with uh, Ezra. Too. Yeah. Oh, my God, right? You know you but, know who's like... But Ant-Man... You, you know who's a good actor, just a good person? Yeah. Brendan Fraser. Oh, well, of course. Good person. But yeah, what were we going to say? He's doing the Lord's work. But anyways, Ant-Man was pretty good. I like the introduction of uh, um, Darren or Modoc. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like he... I f- well, if you if you know anything about Modok, he's like the super villain that always finds the worst the worst situations. Yeah, and and he's like really hilarious about it. So yeah, that was Darren. And, uh, like, am I am I an Avenger? Yeah, Darren. Yeah, you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're an Avenger right now. Yeah, I'm dying an Avenger. Yeah, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the way he like. <laughs> 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 God he dies in a vendor. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, whole, sure. Oh my god, it was so terrible. Like all everything with Bodoc was just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to be the ultimate weapon, but he was like more like the ultimate laugh because of how he like portrayed it. He's like, "What happened to you?" And then they showed how it happened. And <laughs> yeah, oh my god, so dumb, uh, so so dumb. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, I, I liked it. It was it was a lot more fun. Um, I liked having a serious aspect to the Ant Man series because I know Ant Man was always kind of a joke series. Uh, I kind of hope yeah. they do that with Thor, the new Thor movie, coming soon, where they kind of cut back on the jokes a little bit, just a touch. Don't yeah. get me wrong, Chris, Chris Hemsworth is a great funny man, but I cut it back right. just a little bit. It'd be great. Don't have so many punchy jokes. Yeah, all I need to watch now is Guardian of the Galaxy now. That's what I need to watch, too. I'm I'm behind on that. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. I haven't got to the theaters. I don't think I want to go watch it in theaters. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so, either. I'd hate to go. I know Ben likes going to the theaters and stuff, but I just... Well, then again, Ben is not in a very populated area like we are. Yeah, I just don't want to deal with that. Like, I don't want to deal with a huge crowd of people. Yeah, yeah. It's just... I don't know. It's just... I'm trying to think about it. I'm like, ah. and like that Comic Con yeah, we went to that that went over here, that was so uncomfortable, man. Like, I don't, I just can't, I, it was all right. I just can't do I it. Like, I don't want to do large crowds anymore. No, nah, it, it, that was fine. It's just the waiting in line was what killed me. Yeah, that's fine. It just oh, it was it was a long line, a super long line. The line to get in was ridiculous, and just there were so many people and parking. We had to pay for parking. I had to pay for parking. Uh, the the line was ridiculous until you left. Yeah, no, I'm the worst kind <laughs> the of... Moment, the moment you walked off, we just started just started walking on in. <laughs> Feels about right, yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Feels back about right, yep. Oh, my you know, God. Uh, I just... I don't know. Like, I know we're going to go to more cons and stuff for the show and everything, but it's just like... Yeah. I I, I don't know. I, I, I would love to go to small cons and just hang out at small cons and not big ones. Yeah. There's there's two coming up that I'm gonna go to here, and uh, one's in Belton and one's in uh, Cedar Park. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Cedar Park. But thing. I've I've been to the I've been to the Cedar Park one. It's it's really fun. Yeah, like I think I'll just go like you and me. We we need to go do small uh, small cons, and just go have a good time. Uh-huh. We need to bring business cards next time though. Just th- give them up. Yeah. Like here you go. Here you go. Here, next, here you go. Probably next year we can like set up a booth at a con. Yeah, like, just, uh, the booths are that expensive. Like, either. Like, find one where Bulk and Skull are right next to us. Yeah. And then we could just tag off of them. Just rag them the entire day. <laughs> yeah. 
be like, oh, that's the original Buckle Skull, but we're Buckle Skull 2.0. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's it's one and a half. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're, we're Buckle Skull 0.5. 0.5. Just a little, just a little younger, but a right there. We're a little younger, a little prettier, and a little less tatted. <laughs> There you go. That's I did not realize how much Paul Schreier had, like, tattoos. He had a lot oh, of tattoos. tattoos oh, yeah. <laughs> They're great, yeah. but, man, I was like, well, all right, he's way more tatted than I thought he was. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Jim, shut up. Quit breathing heavy. <laughs> <laughs> what? If you liked what you listened to, then definitely follow us on our, our social medias at Zio to Hero across the board. That is Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, not Lightning Collection, but Facebook page is our new one. Uh, definitely come on there. You know, show your collections, what you're collecting, what you want to collect. So those are showing up. Have Rob, some man. interesting convers- things to it. Yeah, me. Uh, Rob, Rob, he, he always posts things to it. We got some of these. Oh yeah, dude, up. you got to check out his. Somebody's got to like go check out his videos too. It's Lightning Collector 2021. He has some really cool like breakdowns he of like really cool stuff, lightning collection figures. Start posting more stuff around, like they can one up his stuff. Yeah, I can't. So. I should post <laughs> to make his word. Be like, Haha. But yeah, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, where me and Jim are the Bulk and Skull podcasting, and I'm Billy. And I think and my name is Jim. Well, let's hope. That's what my underwear says. <laughs> Not the ones that return, though. <laughs> the, and your, your, the M in your name is stretched out. It just says, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what thought I said, Jin? Jin. No, Jim. <laughs> is the M yeah. two N's? No. <laughs> uh, all right. Before we get any further. Okay, goodbye. Later. Do you want to be a hero, but you're not? Do you want to be a Jiro or a Kojiro, but you can't because you're not Japanese? Have you considered Zio to hero? Remember, heroes come and go. Idiots are for <laughs> Jubilee! Jubilee! Let's clap. Yeah. Two, three. Okay, got it. I think. All right. All right. Do I get any bats in the cave? Yeah. Ready? I'm just going to dive right into the All right? Oh, I expect nothing left.